Hey gang, what's going on? So I've been thinking about the next big move that the Yankees will make, but before I get into that, if you like this kind of content, Yankees or baseball, please hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon buttons. It's greatly appreciated and very helpful for the channel. And I don't want you guys to miss out on a single thing that I put out, whether it be a trade or a signing. Um, so getting on to what the next big move is and what I had been brainstorming. So the Yankees had originally been looking at um, uh, Andrew Benintendi as a reunion and Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley went back to the Astros and Andrew Benintendi signed a five-year deal with the White Sox. So now they're going to pivot. Now, according to Brian Cuddy, who put this out uh, as well, saying that they were interested in those two, had also mentioned that um, uh, Michael Conforto was an option, but they're not really high on him and they're not gonna really look into him as much. So the next best option or the best option, I should say, that they're gonna pivot to would be Brian Reynolds of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now, with that being said, um, I do believe that Brian Reynolds will be a Yankee next year. Uh, I have a pretty strong gut feeling about that. I don't know if they'll get Bednar for, for him uh, with him in that deal, but Reynolds, they will get. So, um, it will be a three-team deal, though, and it will be between Arizona, the Yankees, and Pittsburgh. So, the deal would form out uh, as such. The Pirates would receive Jason Dominguez, the Yankees' number two prospect, Everson Pereira, the Yankees' number five prospect, Roderick Arias, the number 11 prospect, uh, Oswaldo Cabrera, Davy Garcia, and Esteban Floreal. They would receive uh, those, those players from the Yankees and Dalton Varsho from Arizona. So they're getting uh, four outfielders, two pitchers, and a super utility guy. So... Uh, Pittsburgh gets a haul back from the Yankees and Arizona as well. So that works out for them. They can rebuild, retool, figure out what they're going to do with their team and their future. So they can also build around Cabrian Hayes and O'Neill Cruz as well. So that's what Pittsburgh gets. Arizona would get JT Brubaker, Nick Gonzalez, the number five prospect, Bubba Chandler, the number seven prospect, and Anthony Salamanto, the number nine prospect from Pittsburgh. So Arizona gets a good frontline starter to go behind Zach Gallen. And they also get youth. And those youth, one of those youths is a pitcher and an infielder. So he's a two-way player. So that could be good for them. So Arizona gets, gets that and retools kind of Builds around Zach Gallen, Cattell Marte, and some of the other uh, young guys that they've got. And then the Yankees, well, they would get outfielder Brian Reynolds. Now, I know it's a lot that the Yankees would have to give up, but in order to get something, you have to give something. So the Yankees getting Brian Reynolds covers that outfield, that corner outfield void that they currently have. And you don't have to see Aaron Hicks starting in left for the Yankees next season. You get a uh, versatile outfielder who is by trade a, a uh, center fielder. But being that it's easier to go from center to the corners rather than going from the corners to center. Um, it's a good deal for the Yankees. And it's something that they should highly consider. Now, uh, whether or not that's going to be the deal uh is yet to be seen but they're saying that uh but brian cuddy is saying that they're going to pivot very hard towards getting brian reynolds and deal and they're going to work with pittsburgh to try to get something done and acquire brian reynolds uh from the pirates who's a switch hitting outfielder and is a prototypical leadoff hitter so that would be great for the yankees because they could use that um let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh, please flood the comments. It's greatly appreciated. And I like getting into it with you guys. So let me know what you guys think about this. And then uh, we'll, we can get into it more and, uh, you know, have fun with this. 
Uh, until next time, Merry Christmas to all of you guys. Have a safe and prosperous new year. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.